I translate itself into this house with all of these corners. I'm totally against that. I don't think uh, the house should have corners like that. It's offensive to the contour of the body of a man. Believe me, I couldn't make it any other way. And, uh, you know, cleanliness, which I talk. So I'm going to be talking about these things. Uh, I would have to in order to get this subject properly. And some of the other principles that uh, it has come today um, uh, clearly it's a it's a negative uh, useless things I've seen it in the West one of them is a revenge uh, people in the West seems I've seen it so many times on TV they want a closure to death of a beloved ones and that is to get the guy and put him in jail and kill him or whatever this feeling of revenge you have to discuss a totally reaction caused by the action of a bad action it equal to the action of the person who was committed at the first time you know if you're slapped and you're slapped back you just have done exactly the offense the first man did except you did it after this reaction which is a revenge asking for an equal things of action towards the person it, it's a, it's a reaction it's not proactive it does not help the psyche of those who like to do these things and we'll discuss about that as well and comes with it uh, lots of other things including this free sex and hippism that's it changes itself all the time in different ways. I wonder if people that I see one of the strata of the Canada and Canadians, the people that are, do not think about tomorrow at all, and they're pot smokers and associated with substance abuse. And this is also the principles of the people of no principle, it seems. So, this was an introduction to this chapter. I will be taking tomorrow if I'm alive. Today I was suffering from the toothache. I had to take two Tylenol 3 to calm it down and finally to come and talk to you because I'm so afraid of my time. My time I would over and I did not say what I accumulated in this world to leave it for you. It was not material. I did not go after the material. And um, it's very hard for me to possess a material. I like to use it. I do not like to possess it. It's like almost like a heavy weight on my brain. I can't fly. You know, my mind cannot fly. I hate to own anything. Uh, except books. I think I like even the books to be a scan and put in a computer and a disc and I carry. That's it. Nothing else I like to own. Just ownership is a very difficult thing for me. I don't know why. So, um, using is good. That's a good principle. Possession. A lot of us would like to have possess, possess this and possess it. I don't know why. I found it really quite honestly it's useless because I have to use it. You know, I find myself no different between myself and Mr. Rockefeller and Mr. Bill Gates and others. They live in the same country as I do. They breathe the same air. They drive the same road. They have a car. I have a car. They are better car. I don't want their car. Even if you give it to me, I don't want it. I'll go sell it and buy something cheap so I can change the brake anywhere I want. They live these in huge houses. I don't like big houses. I can't clean it. I can't broom it. I can't cut grass. I just want one room. So, what they have, I'm not envious of it at all. Giving it to me, I'll immediately turn it into money. I just don't want to have so many diversions of possession. I don't know. Maybe some uh, epilogue to some of my own personal principles in the life uh, that um, I have understood to be a user and not a possessor. Okay, my dear friend, Happy New Year to all of you.
Christians and non-Christian alike. This is a beautiful principle, ethics that you know we celebrate once in a year, albeit in the middle of the winter, it makes sense for the people of North America and the Christian world. And there are other days, of course, for the other nations. I'm agreeing with all of them. And I think that makes us happy and it's not harmful, it's okay. But I prefer it to be useful, not just harmful. Very well, see you again next time. May God be with you.